I, it's mm. difficult to sort of know uh, uh, where to begin. We did were you talking want to talk about... about Matt Hancock and that <laughs> moment during the pandemic. I did a pandemic. bit, but I'm afraid to say that there were no protruding parts of my body left to cringe with. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, did, it, did it give yeah, you the yeah. full... Well, look, the, the thing is, it was a remarkable moment because this was the beginning of the vaccine rollout and, look, we, we all want to celebrate the fact that, you know, we had the vaccine yep. and thank goodness we did. Nice, yeah. And um, what we did in terms of getting those vaccines out is phenomenal. But this was odd. This was during our interview on Good Morning Britain back in December 2020. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Well, it's just—it's uh, been, you know, it's been such a tough year for so many people. That's interesting. I couldn't hear our actual um, questions to Hancock on that. He'd probably fallen on the floor. <laughs> Shock. I mean, well, I mean, he, what? You, get the sick bag. You know out. what? I thought he was laughing yeah. At, yeah. The, at the time. I thought he was laughing, but of course he was apparently crying. He's now explained it in his diaries. He recalls a series of television appearances to mark the day the first Britons were inoculated. You need to relax, Colo D'Angelo told him. That's Gina, of course, who was his um, lover at the time. And still. Uh, Stop being so buttoned up. What she did not mean, said Mr Hancock, was that I should lose it altogether, which unfortunately is exactly what happened. I was on my own in a dark windowless booth answering questions when they played the video of Margaret Keenan getting her jab. She was the first person. Suddenly, I completely lost it, blubbing away, battling to regain my composure as tears streamed down my face. No, they didn't. Where well, the streams? <laughs> they didn't see, stream down. You can't see any. Look, he's an actor and he's a bad actor. He fabricates uh, situations. He's been told to be emotional, so he pretends he's emotional. And I agree. It sounds like he's trying to suppress a laugh. Maybe he was laughing at us all with that little act. For Christ's sake, pull yourself together, I told myself desperately. Then the camera was back on me, my microphone was live, and my watery red eyes were there for all to see. Gina said, at least I'd shown how I felt. He's a fantasy. All about him. Yeah. It's All about him. Politicians that keep diaries, right? You know, there are public servants go to yeah. work every single yeah, day. Yeah. Our nurses, mm -hmm. our police, yeah. all the people we're talking about, right? Yeah, a politician. Um, listen, and full disclosure, you know, I've, I've known Matt for um, m m many, many years. Mm -hmm. That idea that you keep a diary um, in your back pocket um, in order to uh, benefit financially from it in the long run so that you can recurate history to your own advantage. Right. Isn't there something sort of profoundly ropey and odious yeah. uh, uh, about that? I mean, we're not talking about, you know, great heads of state mm. who have, uh, you know, changed the course of, of history, mm. perhaps. And I understand there were lots of people I know who got their first jabs that were mm. really emotional um, about it. Mm. But that sense that you get to reframe history in your own honour strikes me as something... Uh, deeply yeah. disturbing. Although I think if a prominent figure, I think their version of events is, is worth reading, then I think in the case of Matt Hancock, dismissing, <clears throat> because I think he's rewriting the first draft mm -hmm. of history to make himself look a lot better. But he's got a co-writer on this diary, so it's not, it's not exactly what he right. said it's each Isabel night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, she I mean, was, and she wasn't there. Look, I'm, I mean, this... I mean, it, and what I'm saying is he was oh, there, so he's had help. She wasn't in the room with yeah. him so he's as had he was doing the job. So he's had help crafting the message yeah. in those diaries. If it was a genuine, contemporaneous note of what was going on, why yeah. do you need someone but, to knock it into shape? But bookshops should put Matt Hancock's diary straight in the fiction section next to novels. I mean, it is, it is not really what happened at the time. And you can see, you can see with those tears, in a way, they symbolise mm. how much he is making up what happened. He always comes out the hero, it was always him, every Everyone else was wrong. It, that was not what happened. There was a lot of conflict. Some people were right some of the times, wrong other times, but he's making himself out to be some the, COVID the, superhero. The, the very contentious part, I would say, is too, the, the big, do you remember he's told us he was going to put a protective arm around the care homes oh, yeah. and then people were discharged from right. hospital who weren't tested for COVID, who went into the care homes, and he's neatly kicked that t into touch. It wasn't my fault. It was somebody else's. He claims it was the staff right. who brought COVID. Care, who into worked their in care homes, homes brought it in. Low the NHS went along with the rest of it. Until we've had an inquiry, right? People yeah. died. Yeah. You know, yeah. loved ones at arm's length from yeah, people yeah. they yeah. love died, right? Until we've had that inquiry, um, surely, to say the very least, it's indelicate, but to say the worst, it is pretty foul to bring this out. 
uh, 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 until that public inquiry has done its work. Yeah, well, let, let him try sitting with a tour on his head at the inquiry as he is cross, uh, you know, cross interrogated, cross examined, oh. yeah. and the question. You're referring cool. to that image of him on I'm a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and the that thing is, the inquiry, Rob, you know, the inquiry will take. Years. If it's anything like the inquiry into the Iraq War, yeah. I think that concluded in 2011. Yeah. Well, he appears and the war to be getting his evidence in now. Or Grenfell. Yeah.